birthday time. That was a nice long showing for mm -hmm. our shout out. NBC 15 and the Kalahari Resort in the Wisconsin Dells treating you to a one night stay and two all day passes to their indoor theme park. Every Friday we draw another name. You have till noon the following Monday to email us or call us to claim your fabulous prize. Who's got one today? Were you a friend, uh, either one of you? Were you fans of Friends? Yeah. yeah. See, yep. I was never. But David Schwimmer, 49 okay. years old, uh, who did he Ross. play? Ross. Okay. That is how out of it I am. Because I am more of the Marie Antoinette genre. No. <laughs> she was born on this day in 1755, beheaded by the French who blamed her for their woes. Let them eat cake. She, it, there was no documentation. She actually said that she was a very political woman, and they also think that is that was her undoing. She was not very well liked. Either. No, she led quite the opulent life. That, uh, that phrase, um, let them eat cake, uh, back in old France, bread was really, really expensive, and cake was not. And uh, that's why she said it. She said it about the peasants who couldn't afford bread. And these people were they, paying 50% of their salaries yeah. for bread. But they, there is no archival hist uh, evidence that she ever said right. that. Just say it. <laughs> okay. If you read, because there was a book uh, on her, if you read, and you just find out how she just was a little too political for her time, yeah. and the country was in shambles, and yes, she was royalty living a high life. Mm hmm. She's a very interesting character. Today is National Cake Day. No, it's National oh. Deviled Egg Day. But oh, wouldn't it be nice exact if it was cake opposite. day? Exact opposite. I like deviled eggs. Deviled egg, yeah. You haven't had one in a while on the morning show. I Thankfully. know. Your hard-boiled <laughs> eggs. My hard-boiled eggs. 1889. They are so stinky. They're so North love them. and South Dakota were admitted as the 39th and 40th states on this date in 1889. Cheerleading was started at <laughs> University of Minnesota on this oh. date in 1898. Johnny Campbell led the crowd in Cheers at a football game. <laughs> uh, High Definition TV made its debut on this date. Its world uh, debut in 1936. High Definition TV was defined as 200 lines back oh, then. Oh, okay. I was like, what? <laughs> we do 1080 now. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay, there's gotta be some punchline coming. Yeah, Spring Down Moment, Quiz Show Scandal 21. Uh, the game show contestant Charles Van Doren admitted to a congressional committee they'd been given questions and answers in advance. Now for your view viewing pleasure, we go back to the year 1947 when this photo was snapped in California, Long Beach. Designer Howard Hughes performed the maiden and only voyage of the Spruce Goose, or H4 Hercules as he called it. He did not like the name Spruce Goose. Uh, the largest fixed-wing aircraft ever built. It flew one mile at an altitude of 70 feet, 135 miles per hour. Uh, it was um, supposed to be used in the war as a transport plane, but it didn't get done until 1947, so obviously it couldn't have been used in World War II. Uh, it was made out of wood, but it wasn't spruce. It was actually birch, and incidentally, the specialized wood veneer was made by Rotus Manufacturing of Marshfield, Wisconsin. Ah, local tie. And then sent off to Long Beach. And uh, it was in a big hangar there uh, on some pier in Long Beach, which is now used, that same hangar is used as a Carnival Cruise Line hmm. uh, hangar for the, the uh, ships. So there you have it. If you want to go see it, it's in McMinnville, Oregon right now in a museum.